All right, guys, welcome to episode 202 of Open Your Toys Cast, the podcast dedicated to the four greatest action figure franchises of the 80s in all time. And those are Rock, Masters of the Universe, Transformers, Star Wars, and G.I. Joe. It's making their comeback. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's all everybody could talk about, man. Jesus. Even though there's nothing showing up. It even got me it. to go to a Walmart. <laughs> oh, to look for those retro cards? Oh, don't get those retro cards. Oh, we'll, like talk I say, the thing... we'll talk about it later. Oh, oh, okay. The thing that kills me about those, they have to have a white border on them. Like, what the fuck? Retro <sighs> cards have a white border on them. I don't even care. People are complaining that they packed them full of weapons and stuff, but anyways. We'll get white to that border. part later, but yeah. Lotus... Everything Lois was talking about, he was absolutely right about the flimsiness of the card, how damaged they are right out of the case. Um, yeah. But we'll get to that. Well, when they come in those kickers, dude, they're hanging on a peg when they're shipped. So when that oh. box goes flat, right? It, I mean, they put little cardboard inserts to keep them from falling off the peg. But when they sit on a peg and you put a box flat and it's a thin card, it's just going to go like this, you know, it was, yeah. Anyways. All right. <laughs> if you want to kick it with us, we want you to do that right here. Wow. We had seven watchers and we dropped down to four. Oh, back up to five. <laughs> we want you to do it right here while we record the show live on YouTube. Uh, we are going to go back to an every other week The the weekly was killing me. Uh, having it alternate days was a little weird, I think, for people and stuff. So we're going to go back to every other week. Um, Sundays, normally 6 p.m. Eastern, uh, 5 o'clock Central, 4 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Pacific. Um, so hopefully you'll join us every week right here at youtube.com slash open your toys. Uh, if you want your toy fix during the week, we do it on YouTube at facebook.com slash group slash open your toys small little devoted following uh and lots of our members are getting lucky we've we've had a member find the baroness in the wild um so we've had <laughs> i found i found a cobra trooper in the wild i, I think i reported Asshole. that on the last show <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so follow us there um or or actually join us there if you just want to find out when we're doing a new show and what we're talking about hit us up at our facebook page at facebook.com slash open your toys cast if you want to see links to everything we're talking about including all of these links on how to subscribe through itunes or, and it's not iTunes anymore. It's Apple Podcasts, I guess. I need to change those show notes. Uh, Google Play, uh, RSS, Stitcher Smart Radio. You can do that at OpenYourToys.com. Top of the page, there'll be the link to the latest show notes. Um, you can, if you're old school, you can email us at team at OpenYourToys.com. And then doesn't make much, in, much sense anymore now that you can be live on the show. But, hey, if you want to leave us a voicemail, we'll play it during the show. It's a uh, 720-235-TOYS, 720-235-8697. We got uh, Cass in the house. Welcome. And also Casey. Oh, first time I've watched live. Not nice. cooking. <laughs> live not cooking and smoking a J. I'll remedy that when I get home. Well, right on. That's what I like to hear. Yep, I got my pen in my pocket. It's time to get busy. So, <laughs> <laughs> welcome, guys. Rob Ewing in the house as well. What up, Rob? Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Mr. Stark, I thought, was going to join us, but he might be in the middle of doing some home improvements. He is a very handy guy, that person. Or he may not want us to let people know he owns a home. He may be doing some mobile home improvements or RV improvements or possibly tent improvements. You never know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got Noah's revelations up in here. He's saying, what up, Rock the Farting Dad? What's Are you guys, up? Do you guys see the chat? We got KJ Smith up in the house as well. Wow. Thank you guys for, for being here and chiming in, too. We appreciate it. 
Let me share it to my following. My flock. <laughs> <laughs> um all right rock uh where can people find you sir you can find me on facebook in the group you can find me on my youtube channel rock the farting dad not no new videos lately but i'm working on it believe me <laughs> as we speak things oh, yeah. are churning <laughs> uh and cliff we cliff has become a regular we're gonna need to get you added to the show notes here brother where can people find you uh i can be found at uh, instagram as associate of horror and then i post in the group under red menace on facebook oh yeah you want to reach me i'm at facebook.com slash open your toys and yes i know it's it's confusing for it to be like facebook.com slash group slash open your toys and then i'm facebook.com just slash open your toys and then the page is slash open your toys cast but pretty easy to follow if you go to the show notes um and then uh instagram i'm at slick mcfavorite and then email me at slick at open your toys dot com um all right what are we drinking cliff you got some crystal light for us buddy you know i do all right, when are you going to switch up the flavors now? I'm not. I've been I've, seeing red. No, you're a it's, red guy? It's fruit punch. It's delicious. Um, <laughs> I, I'm a, I, I will drink it until I'm sick of it, and then I'll look for a new flavor. <laughs> and I hear rock popping bottles, or popping cans, I should say. Well, it's hockey oh, playoff good. season. I've got this big tall boy of Labatt Blue. I bought it because it had the Arnold's logo on it, and we're going to taste some of this nice tasty beverage while we talk toys what does the uh the hashtag selly on mean is that a player i don't know because i haven't watched hockey but uh <laughs> i'm assuming i'm assuming that it's a 24 ounce can wow yeah buddy wow i'm trying to slam this after doing three and a half hours of yard work today buddy <laughs> oh my god dude you don't hire someone to do your yard work I'm so fucking cheap because instead of me paying somebody, <laughs> if I pay somebody, like say $35 a week to mow my lawn, uh, that's a one vintage action figure at the end of the month. So do it yourself. <laughs> Save money. Buy toys. I agree. I, I'm cheap, but I'm more because I want my shit edged a certain way. Like I want it the way, you know, like we've tried to hire multiple people. No, like full on businesses, but we've tried to hire kids and stuff like that. And no one ever does it to my fucking. So do you do it yourself as well? Yeah. Yeah. And I finally got Mrs. McFavorite. I gave her a break while she was pregnant. And then somehow seven years later, I was still doing it by myself. Do you mean she <laughs> and used I... to mow? Oh, dude, she prefers to mow. Really? She wants me to do the weed whack and weed pulling and blowing and all that. She wants to do the heavy lifting. So she wants you on your knees, weeding, <laughs> and then blowing. I see how I see how it goes in that family. I see how it goes in that relationship. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I'm I'm watching Billions. So if anybody's watched that, she is definitely the the dominatrix. Oh, my wife doesn't do yard work. She's a typical Long Island woman. It's gonna fuck up my nails. <laughs> There's no way in hell. No she's way. she's used that before. She's like, I just got my nails done yesterday. I'm like, oh. Isn't that why they make uh, gloves? <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> Good point. I should bring that up. Um, all right. Oh, um, so I am drinking Senior Pina. Which is a, it's uh oh, wow, this is Colorado. It's Sebisiera, Sebisiera. So that would be a, a tap house, Colorado. Um, and this is a pineapple blonde. So that's Ooh. where the piña comes into it. Uh, craft cerveza inspired by Mexico. Bridges, bridges, not walls. Right on. I like that. <laughs> um, Echo in Colorado. Fruit beer. And, oh, here we go. Uh, a fruity tropical dream with fresh pineapple. Smooth and easy drinking. 5% by alcohol volume. Please recycle, amigos. 
So um, it's good. It's it, I expect it to be like super pineapple-y and it, it, it's not. It just got very small hint of pineapple in it, which is exactly what I wanted. So very good beer. As the English would say, that would have my berries buzzing. That sounds like it's got my name all over it. <laughs> mm. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, uh, oh, shit. Oh, my God. I just realized I didn't get a bunch of emails that I sent myself. That's interesting. Con news, there should have been that uh, PowerCon has posted most of its panels. Um, so uh, on the last episode, PowerCon was literally happening live at that time online virtually, of course. And so we got the breaking news of all the new origins and the new Masterverse and all that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, now I'm concerned that I'm missing news articles, but um, I had forwarded all those to my email. Uh, but if you're interested, you want to watch that Masterverse panel, you want to watch the Origins panel, head over to heman.org or probably uh, power-con.org um, and uh, or try.com and go check those out. I still haven't watched them. Um, like I was telling Mark Haddock, I am, I am months behind my, my YouTube, my podcasts. Like I have just been binging shows as I work, you know, it's pretty, when you've got your TV in front of you, it, it's easier just to put on some TV shows. So, um, toy news, new head map. Oh, I need to share my screen. Uh, let's share the screen for everyone to see. There we go. Uh, new headmasters. Uh, no details on who yet. There's just um, some headmasters assortments in there. Uh, talking about are these going to be repacks or what? Who knows? These showed up in Walmart. Um, so that'll be kind of interesting. I don't. We're not missing anybody from Headmasters, right? Not that I know of. I guess, Cliff, you don't do Transformers, and Rock, you don't do... I wouldn't know. Or you don't do anything. <laughs> I do but know what a Headmaster show. is. I mean, that's good, right? <laughs> it's not what you think, Cliff. <laughs> I know. It's a head that becomes a robot, right? It's not Throatzilla. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, it's like a tiny transformer that becomes the head of a bigger robot, right? It is. It yeah. is. See? We we were being mm -hmm. very inappropriate for our female listening audience. Oh yeah. Uh, all, all zero of them. Yeah, exactly. Hey, my sister's a fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, pull Star Wars live stream. So this just happened on Friday and again. I, I wasn't home. I was actually out working, doing delivery of printed items. Um, but some interesting shit here. Uh, I, I love that Toy Arc does a better job, in my opinion, uh, in covering Star Wars than all of the other Star Wars fan sites, mainly because all the other Star Wars fan sites needs to break up like each little news item into their own article and stuff. And, and you get more information that way. But when we're doing a, no sh a new show, we want it to be all synopsized, nice and clear here. So um, the, uh, the I, I guess there was a couple big news. The, things, the thing that didn't get leaked is they are saying goodbye, and they had mentioned this earlier in the year, they are saying goodbye to the five points of articulation with a ridiculous set of um, five of repacks. Packs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but I think, I think there's something for everyone, and I really dig that they each come with a droid. So, like, yeah, you have bounty the, hunters. What do you think the reason is for that? Because I know people want these droids. I've already heard people saying how they want this one and that one. I think it's just a way, like you say, to get a repack. 
And to introduce something new into every one of these repacks that somebody doesn't have. Um, so yeah, this bounty hunter one is interesting. It's a what is this? An R D or an R five? R five. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, then you get the Imperial, but not all of these are new because I don't think this droid's new. I think we've gotten this droid before, but this one kind of grabbed my eye because this is besides the the stormtrooper being a a sergeant or whatever they are when they have a pauldron. Like this to me is Star Wars, man. Biker Scout, Snow Trooper, TIE Fighter Pilot, and a Stormtrooper. To me, oh, but the Army Builders, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Like that to me is Star Wars. Um, and then we get uh this one is kind of cool too. Oh, come on. Come on, internet. Okay, let's maybe out of the package. Oh, motherfucker. Yak face is giving you the Maloikia right now. He's giving no, you this is Toy Arc. Oh, That's the fuck uh, they should be they should be on this shit. There we go. All right, Galactic Republic. So we get Incinerator Trooper. I think it had a different name before that. Um, you get a phase one clone trooper, you get Cody, you get a phase two uh 501st trooper. And then this one's kind of interesting that you get the battle droid in there, the painted one, probably from a Clone Wars episode that I don't remember. Um, let's see. Cass agrees with you, Rock. He has no idea about headmasters. Um, <laughs> let's see. We get the Jedi Order, and I think we've seen this. Because I think that's Yoda's droid, if I'm not mistaken. But I, I think we've seen that droid before. Uh, what? Oh, we do get the lightsaber with Yoda. Um, and then what's up next? Rebel Alliance. Again, that one's pretty self-explanatory. But you see what they're doing with these figures? Not that we already need to shit on Hasbro anymore. They uh -huh. gave you a Bespin Leia with the Return of the Jedi Luke. With a best spin on, they kind of it. They mishmash. It's. I think it. Yeah. I mean the the five poa, the five poa with the modern sculpt. They really haven't done that many. You know. I mean, when you talk about these core characters, gotcha. you know, they haven't. They've done very specific ones. Um, now, I I need an expert if somebody knows. Because I'm about to buy this Sith pack just to get this fucking Sith. People have been talking about that's the yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So if people are talking about it, then it's probably not been released because I don't remember it. I know there's a maroon, what protocol droid, you know, there's a maroon fucking C3PO out there, but not a deep red one like this. Um, but this is what's interesting. Look at how fucking big Kylo Ren is here. I mean, it's just fucking ridiculous. That Again, Emperor was the figure that people said was one of the best sculpted figures ever in that five, five points of articulation line. Oh, really? And I, yeah, there's I, a, can you I've blow that one up? There. That was yeah. one I think the came single. with. Uh, I'm trying. I remember people really raving about that figure. Yeah, it came so with it, a Target three pack. Yeah, okay. and I'm I'm looking at it right now because. Because I'm a royal guard guy, so it came with him, a that Jedi Luke, and then the royal guard. Which the royal guard people are finding at five below for three twenty five now. But um, yeah, no, I I dig that emperor. I like the emperor. Um, and then we get the first order. So if you're a new guy, this is the first time mass release because it never made it out that we're getting this flame trooper um the this guy with his extra armor was part of like an eight pack that you had to buy if you wanted him um you get what was it bb9 or eb9 or something like BB that the e, e, i think BB is nine that e. what it, yeah so you get the evil bb8 and you get a mouse droid with them so that's kind of cool 
And then, uh, and then you get the uh, resistance one. Oh, why is this fucking just keep flipping out on me? Um, I'll just look at the resistance one here. Uh, I looks like you get a BBA. You get a porg if you never picked up a porg. I bought, I bought whatever three whatever I think it was Chewbacca came with yeah, this Chewy. little three and three quarter porg. Uh, just to get him, but yeah, I don't know who who would ever want this, but you know, who knows? Um, and uh, gaming greats, we get a electro staff purge trooper, which this has kind of got me scared. Um, I I didn't like go secondary market on the original purge trooper which showed up in Canada kind of like in heavy numbers. And then if you bought the game, you were able to get it here in the States because I thought for sure they would re-release that one in the States, which doesn't mean they're not going to. But now that they're releasing this one, I'm, I'm kind of scared and I might start looking at the secondary market for the other Perch Trooper. Um, but, uh, this is the electro staff one looking very cool here. Um, and then as we get past him, this is going to be a Walgreens exclusive, the, uh, attack of the clothes, clothes trooper, Lieutenant, um, which it's the blue one. The only thing that makes it the Lieutenant is the dots on his chest. So, if you're if you don't want a lieutenant and you want a troop builder, you just take some uh, magic, magic erasers eraser. today. Yeah. Um, and then let's see here. We got a Palpatine's uh, Force Effects lightsaber. So this has always been, you know, and not that this is a bad thing, but the most feminine lightsaber in my opinion. <laughs> you know, I know it's supposed to be kind of regal, I guess, you know. Because it looks like a vibrator. It doesn't have to be the most feminine <laughs> lightsaber. <laughs> yeah, guys use vibrators, too. Um, I do like the stand. <laughs> <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, and then uh, for vintage collection... This is really interesting. I, I kind of like this because he did have this kind of different draping in the in the Rogue One. We get a Rogue One Darth Vader uh, with complete with choking hand there because he did a lot of uh, choking in Rogue One. And then again, an an easy skip for me just because. And I know people love this guy, and I I just. Even making it through most of Clone Wars, I still don't see the appeal, but we get Hondo and Naka. Well, it's interesting. They put him on a Star Wars card back. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even look at that, that it was a fucking original Star Wars. Huh. I thought maybe they would have put him on something for the uh, that Disney... What's that place called? All the Adventures? Uh, Galaxy's, Edge. Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, I thought yeah. maybe they would do something like that. Oh, I mean, maybe it'll, maybe it'll Good. change. Good catch, because you're absolutely right. He is a fucking Galaxy's Edge like uh, homeboy yeah. there. Um, and then, and then the big reveal, quote unquote, uh, is the uh, vintage collection playset. And again, I don't know. Somebody said in the group, "This isn't a playset; it's a photo photo backdrop," because. There's nothing. It looks like the doors move in and out. Yeah, but um, I think this looks is like awesome. Ah, see, and I and I'm gonna be that. Uh, I'm gonna be that guy that waits for clearance. Like I can almost guarantee you, if Jabba's throne room with a fucking tauntaun mount and all that shit clearance with two figures. I guarantee you this thing's going to clearance. Oh, yeah. Just wait for one of those Megalopolis sales or yeah. one of them places. But I think I love the way this thing looks. This is something yeah. that if we had as a kid. Oh, it's amazing. So here's one with an extra one added to it. I kind of like that. A little bit of corner action. Um, I'd be curious to see. 
So it looks like this this wall can either be flat, like can be in line with it or at an angle, right? No, no. The door, the flat door would line, if you put two together like that, the flat door would line up with the door that's on the angle on the other side. So if you look at, they put basically so you one just on tape one of the doors. Oh. No, the, the, it would line up. You just line them up by the doors. Okay. So this this one is missing a door though, right? No, it's it's this... flush against the door that sticks out on the first one. Huh. Okay. So if you have one, like you have one place that going north south, you have the other yeah. place that going east west. So on the north end of the north south place that you have the door that's at a 90 degree angle, that lines up with the flat door on the other side of the other one they added. You see how the top of it has the has the the door, the 90 degree door, the bottom of it has the flat door. So the flat door is now uh, flush against the 90 degree. So does it make a square okay. then? If you connect uh, okay. it, it's going to make a square? It's like a, well, they show it. So okay, here's with yeah. three. And then, yeah. And then you could probably make another door here. So you got to give it to says, them. They're, they're, yeah. they're, getting, they're getting kind of smart with making you try to buy multiples. Between well, because the Dago Ball one, and, I mean, not Dago Ball, excuse me, the, uh, the Best Bin uh, uh, carbon, carbon freezing. Free, yeah. The, yeah. You know, they got a good idea going to buy, buy multiples. I mean, it'll be worth it when they go on clearance to buy multiples instead of full retail, but it's a good idea. Yeah, Cass says he needs some six inch dioramas. Well, that's. But there's a guy that, that makes those. <laughs> well, and that's I read something like, oh, now they're ripping off third party too. And I'm like, well, I I know third party have done the rebel ship, but they more do the Death Star stuff. Um but I think it looks we've like, covered that. The guy that makes the walls. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've we talked about him. So you get the uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rob says milking that mold. That's for sure. Um, I do like, I, I love Rebel Trooper. I mean, I love, I don't troop build, but I love troops. Like, I only I only have one Rebel Trooper, you know, and I only have one three and three quarter Rebel Trooper and, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so I don't troop build, but I love when it's troops. And I do dig that they have the baseball cap for them, not just the helmet. So, all right, let's get out of here. That's just a bunch of pictures of the same shit. Oh, this is kind of interesting. I didn't think about this. That's kind of a cool backdrop, the oh. inner spines of it. Um, it isn't, is that what it looks like when she's giving R2-D2 the plans? Yeah, I believe it, so. Close enough, but yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, and Cass says mass retail. Yeah, this will be definitely cheaper than any of the third party ones are fucking ridiculous. So what is this will be 50, 50 bucks. I, yeah, it's 50 bucks, and then you get a figure. And I'd be interested if it's a carded figure or not. You know, I think that Probably. was a big draw with the, the other ones too. Yeah, yeah, all the other ones were. Yeah. So can you imagine if that box art is Vader coming through with the hand like this? With the crumpled over dead stormtrooper, and then a couple of rebel fleet troopers, and maybe C three PO and R two D two, like trying to cross. Oh my god, that patching they can do for this would be amazing. Yeah, no, and I I agree. I mean, I think it it's just like any diorama. Like if you really want to commit to the carbon freezing, I think it could look amazing. You know, you've got you've got. Uh, Leia, and you've got Chewie with C-3PO on his back. You've got Lando. You've got multiple fucking stormtroopers. You got Darth Vader. You got Boba Fett. Like you could make if you want to commit to it. I think this is great. But again, because well, I should say I only have one stormtrooper. I guess I have eight different versions of one stormtrooper, so I could I could easily equip it with that, but. I wouldn't want to buy multiples of the stupid rebel troopers <laughs> just because I don't do that, you know. And have they I, have they put out a three and three quarter super articulated rebel trooper? Is this the first yeah, one? Yeah, the vintage collection. 
You know, they the, have... the vintage collection. And he okay. came with the hat and he came with the blaster. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was one it was a really nice figure. Then I've got it. Uh, I've got to have it. I, I can't imagine I don't have it. Uh, but and it's it's I'm not lying, on a go ahead. I think they actually made a three pack of the the fleet troopers as well. Like in a box, like like a white box. I'll uh, I have, I'll check the eBay as well. Yeah. I'm almost That's positive it. they made a box of like uh, multiples. To the Googles. Um, so that was the big news for Star Wars this week, for sure. Um, the other big news for Transformers is, and I don't. Let's see. I think this is just putting all the different listings that people have found together but uh yeah it looks like we have the entire <laughs> second wave if not i mean some of these look like they would probably be earthrise stuff but um if you're curious it looks like we've got quite a big lineup here of what's going to be in for war for cybertron um core which i guess those are the little ones right i don't I don't know what core means here, but Rat Trap, Optimus Prime, Megatron, Starscream, and then two Fossilizers, uh, Deluxe. So you Beast Wars fans, here you go. Air Razor, Black Arachnia, Cheetor, Slammer, Shadow Panther. That's a fucking deep cut. Uh, Warpath, Huffer, Pipes, Waspinator, Scorponaut, Trax. See, I think what Scorponok would be a, a fucking... Uh, uh, Voyager, but anyways, um, tracks, wheeljack, RC, wing finger, Ractonite, and so yeah, fossilizer. I guess I need to be a, a little bit more up on my shit. Um, Voyager, we've seen the Cyclonus. See, and that's what I'm like. I don't know if that Cyclonus is going to be in War for Cybertron, if that Cyclonus is going to be in the 86 line. And I think that's maybe what, you know, I think they're just kind of adding a bunch of stuff here. But anyways, Optimus Primal, Targetron, G1 Inferno, Rhinox, which I don't know why we need a new Rhinox, but whatever. Starscream, Dinobot. Leaders, Beast Wars, Megatron. That's going to be a dope figure at a at a leader size. Optimus Prime, repack of Earthrise, uh, Galvatron, Earth Mode, Ultra Magnus. Yeah, that seems weird, but I mean, fucking tons of this shit has me excited. Uh, Beast Wars shit can pretty much all go to hell except for just beasts that I like, like a scorpion. I like scorpion, so I'd get Scorponok. And then I've always bought every single, except for the Masterpiece, Optimus Prime, and Megatron in that line. But So those will be mine. But So going back to the Rebel Fleet Trooper, I just looked on eBay. The Black <laughs> Series ones, this is hysterical. The Black Series ones are $19 in the box. The yeah. Vintage Collection ones are $45 for a three and three quarter figure. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And, that's, and they didn't make a Rebel, a Rebel Fleet Trooper, right? In the original Vintage line? No. No, they did. They did. Nope. They made the figure how... Oh, no, not in the original counter line. But yeah, in one of the that's other what lines, I'm talking made about. made it that you can have the guy... You could have the guy be on one knee like this, uh -huh. or you could pivot his leg so that he stands. Oh, the original. It's a really yeah. cool figure. Yeah. I'm trying See, to which one that is, the OTC or something like that. Well, and I know they made it, of course, in the Mr. Buffy Power of the Force 2. But, yeah. yeah, that would have had to have been in that, what did they call that line? But I know what you're talking about. The one yeah. where everybody was superposed, like really good yes. sculpts, but superposed. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It was the Saga collection, wasn't it? Yeah. Maybe that's yep. what it was. Yeah. Good call, Cliff. Um, yeah. So, um, and I guess uh, none of this has got either one of you excited. So, and Kaz says uh, Beast Wars. Someone say Beast Wars. <laughs> now, Kaz, aren't you? You're a Beast Wars guy, though, right? If I remember right, 
and I know there's going to be a delay on that, so we're, we'll move on. But, um, and this is where I get awful, and I apologize to everyone I talk with. I I just get so confused. Yeah, Beast Wars, <laughs> Best Wars, <laughs> uh, and it all come. It all has to do with when you come into the shit. You know, we're we're going to talk about we're going to talk about. Uh, Transformers Hot House in a second. Um, but yeah, I think it, it just all depends on when you came into this shit. Um, Arctic Scarlet. So uh, this is really cool. You get to see a lot of the, con the sketch art and the control art for it as well. I fucking love that she comes with a saber tooth that actually holds her, her quill for her crossbow um, looks like it was supposed to be super articulated. And the, and the thing I'm noticing here is looks like she has all the little armor pads that they, that they've been doing with these new classifieds. And so the woman that posted this is a designer for Hasbro now. And she said this artwork was around before she joined before she joined Hasbro. I don't know if she posted it and got in trouble for it or what, but I guarantee you this was supposed to be a classified or a, a classified figure. So, cause it looks very much that way in my opinion. And I would have loved this fucking thing. I don't necessarily like that the saber tooth just has moving legs and that's it. But, I like her rug boots. <laughs> She's got the some saber -tooth on thing, her. I think is just, I think the the saber tooth is dumb as shit, but the figure isn't bad. I don't know something about that figure just doesn't. Scarlet figure is great. I don't know that saber tooth does nothing for me. Oh really? I just I'm a, I'm a junkie for saber tooth. I mean, just again, snow saber tooth mammoths, the fucking. Uh, well, I guess. Were giant three-toed sloths? I don't think they were winter, but I like them too. No. But <laughs> <laughs> Joe Rhino, <laughs> Joe Rhino in the house. Uh, nice. Um, let's see. Uh, Rob says Scarlet looks cool, but strange. Um, and then Cass says he's got the Arctic Mission Storm Shadow. Is that the is that the canceled one, Cass? No, so it's got the Amazon art. exclusive. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. He he talked about that right before. And we'll get to that because somebody got it already that's on the show as well. Spoilers. Um, let's see. Uh new Star Wars retro figures. And and I don't I think everybody saw this coming. They're going to be the return of the Jedi retro figures, right? Um, all in their stupid, uh, what are these rocks, I guess? Granite, limestone. Yeah. So, <laughs> marble. Wait, what are these? I, I have no idea what these are. Uh, these, these are the uh, retro collection. Seven new retro collections. And they give them their, you know, they've been doing states and planets. So they give them Star Wars S3 uh, retro pumice. They just give it a, a fucking nickname. But we don't oh, know okay. who they're, we don't know who they are yet. Um, so, Rock, okay, I, I got confused. I was thinking about those gold figures from Walmart. Oh, oh God, that's no. what I thought you were yeah. talking about. No, okay. no, these are retro collection. So, I mean, it's a good question. Uh, before we move on, Rock, seven, seven retro collection figures for Return of the Jedi. What do you oh. do? Um, I gotta say. Guard. Gamorrean guard, oh, very good. Why an Ewok, right? You gotta do Wicked. You have to do Wicked. Yeah, you gotta do yeah. Wicked. So you gotta do Jedi Luke. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, mm. yeah, Jedi Luke. I'm Han in trench now. coat. So, yeah, that's a pretty much a classic. Uh, um, just because I dig her, I gotta do Leia's Bausch or Boosh. Oh, or for Bush. sure. Yeah. 
whatever you want. To I was called her Bausch. But I said Bausch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, probably. Hold on. I'll be right back. Uh, Royal Guard. Royal Guard, probably. That's an iconic, but that's got some soft goods. You think they're going to want to invest in the soft goods? And that's what I was just thinking. Didn't they do? Uh, is the Yoda soft? Yeah, they did soft goods for the Yoda. Okay. Oh, shit, that just fucks shit up on my laptop. Oh, please don't disconnect. Come on, there's so many good Everybody's ones. still there. Yeah, so that they is. did. They did soft goods on the Yoda. So I would think they would do it for the Royal Guard. Lando but... was Jabba's guard, probably. Ooh, that's a good one. That's one of my favorites. Too. Anytime somebody disguises themselves, you know, with a removable helmet, especially. Oh, like... Joe, Joe's right. Biker Scout, Biker Scout's a must. Even though it drives me nuts, they didn't do, do a snow trooper. I wish they would have done a snow trooper. Well, you know, it's possible these are return of the, or these are Empire too, because it's still 2020. Yeah, and it's the 40th but it, anniversary. But it's S3. That's what. Yeah. You know, that's what kind of throws me off. But anyways, that's possible. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking right now. I'd have to go. <laughs> Luke, Luke, <laughs> Luke Jedi. Luke Jedi biker scout Leia Bausch. Uh, Crimson, uh, Crimson Guard. I mean, Empire's Royal Guard. Jesus. Oh, was hitting me. Wicked. And... Wow, two more. I, I mean, yeah, I like Gamorrean Guard and either Lando or Bib Fortuna is one of my favorites. Actually, Bib Fortuna is cool but... too. A Bib Fortuna would be interesting. That'd be. But he's he's another guy. He's got a cloth trench coat because that's they went all in on like the cloth coats in Return of the Jedi. So you got Han. Oh, you're you right. Yeah, coat. you're right. You got Leia in the poncho. Oh, that's a. That's there's so a many. To, there's so but I would many say, good choices. Like, I would say. Oh, uh, Joe's saying. Joe's saying yak face. I think that's too deep that's, of a cut. That's the power of the force collection. as well. That's yeah. that Oh, that's true. <laughs> there's so many good choices on here. Oh, my Lord. All right. All right. Let's get on to the next one here. Uh, Devastator box set. So, the I knew this was coming, but I'm, I I <laughs> I have every single one of them except for the two that have just started hitting. Um, but I, I might have to buy the stupid box set too. I don't know, but I'm just a Devastator junkie, and I do dig that they did them right finally because. Even though I was kind of pissed off at him, I went into two with high expectations, and he really sucked, and the, the fucking wrecking ball nuts and shit like that kind of turned me off, but I do like this Devastator. Can I you think share I'm it so gonna... we can see? Is it the, is it the same one that oh, you were talking about? When did I uh, stop one, like, sharing? Seven of them. When you had that glitch. Oh, okay. That's right. Okay, good. So we haven't missed too much. You talking about the one with the seven expensive ones, like the most expensive one to combine them all? Are they? Yeah. So, so this is the Hasbro one, the Devil Savior one. I I would never pay eight eight hundred dollars for a Revenge of the Fallen fucking Devastator. But yes, this is the this is the Studio Series one. Can I ask a question? Sure. <laughs> Will Baba Bobo have this? <laughs> I don't know. I think I think Baba Bobo will, but it wouldn't make much sense to buy something that'll be released over here. I have to ask you uh, a Baba Bobo question. <laughs> sure. I do like his Studio Series sixty nine, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Um, but what's what's also weird is you look at this box art or the box, and then you look at the shape of this, and they don't match up. So I don't know. Take this one with a grain of salt. Uh, Hot Toys Snow Speeder Luke. All right. Wow. Um, wow. Let's incredible. see. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's it's pretty hot impressive. Toys. Yeah, hot toys, of course. Um, so I got to I went to a movie. Literally, I was joking on my post 
that I did for for 201 saying if we ever get to go to movies before the end of the year i went to a movie on thursday and i went to motherfucking empire strikes back dude first time i've seen it in a theater since i was six years old theater or drive-in you didn't uh, go in 97 no no i i was in college partying i didn't even know that the fucking reissues happened um (laughs) yeah (laughs) Yeah, I was I was fully out of it. I was living in a small town too that didn't that had we had two movie theaters that each played one movie at a time. Um, but yeah, uh, it was for AMC their opening day. They they were charging fifteen cents a ticket, and I wow. just bought out all the seats around me it cost me like a dollar <laughs> 50 to buy 10 seats to make sure that no one i was in the back row no one's fucking around me it was awesome but uh so yeah i i just saw this and it it's i don't like pilot figures but this one being the snow speeder i do like this one much better did they have discounted refreshments as well uh, the the fucking concession stand was open, dude. That's there the whole go. thing. You're supposed to be wearing your mask the entire time unless you're eating or drinking. So I just ate the whole time. <laughs> just uh, I brought my own snacks, though. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I also brought in my own fucking water, too. And for the first time ever, didn't hide it. I just carried it right in, like... You're not going to tell me I can't bring my own water in during the pandemic. Oh, I, I you know? walk in, I walk in with a full bottle of water, and I just tell them. That oh, do you take my med? Yeah, I just tell them I need to take my medication. They're never going to say oh. about that. Oh, yeah. good. I ah, I'm going to do that from now on. I like it. I like it. Um, so we get a bunch of stuff here. We get uh, the harpoon gun thing. We get his gun stand. Uh, what's that? Eight different hands. You get, I assume this little, like the little flight beanie just goes over his head. I don't think that's a different, Oh, is that a different? No, that's the same expression. Maybe so, so you can buy two and have one as a uh, DAC. <laughs> you know? Well, that's a, I, I have never bought a pilot Luke or pilot anything for that matter, besides a Thai pilot, I guess. Um, but I bought this Luke in the 40th line because I assume I will be buying a fucking Black Series uh, snow speeder once they're not 150 bucks or 120 bucks, whatever they're going for. I, but. I mean, I love how they made it that they even dirtied up the jacket a little bit it's not clean yeah it's his really helmet impressive. is fucking full on use. yeah still scratched up yeah they did it. oh my god I'm yeah again if you if you do throw. yeah i was i was gonna say if you do hot toys more power to you uh cast 265 on this Woo! guy yeah Woo! exactly it's a lot yeah uh wow. okay Let's uh let's all stop making ourselves feel bad for not making enough money. Um and then okay, so we get to Hot House here. So this was the big uh Transformers reveal on one of their fan days. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? And it turns it's out a it's a micromaster. <laughs> yeah. He's a panini press, isn't he? <laughs> It his head like looks just... like his head looks like he caught it at a panini press. That's for sure. Um, but again, this I was thinking the same thing with this. This is a MicroMaster MicroMaster base from back in the day. Um, oh. Let's see, Hot House figure is inspired by a character from the Zone comics. Fans can complete the MicroMaster station collection with this Hot House figure, the last of four collectible stations to be released. And like I say, those stations, no connection to them in it whatsoever. But again, these I think these were like 92, 93 or something like that. And so maybe that's right when somebody got into this and this is the first transformer they owned or something. And maybe that'll make it important to somebody, but 
I mean, there, there's, uh, there's play value in all of these bases. I do like that they're introducing that, like the ironworks and all of those kind of things that you can take apart and add pieces to other figures. Like that play value is definitely dope. But again, no connection to them, no sale. Um, and then, uh, we should bow our heads a moment of, well, we're not going to do a moment of silence because it's a podcast, but, uh, DC direct completely shut down. So, uh, uh, DC laid off what, how many did they lay out? Like 20% of their, of their fucking company. Like, and completely shuttered DC Direct, their toy company associated with DC. Um, and for I know for Mark Haddock, he was he was collecting these uh, Batman the Animated Series figures. I'm I'm sure there's a lot of people that were collecting the fucking Batman animated series figures. I know uh, uh, Dave was for the longest time. Um, for a lot of people, this is like their cartoon, you know, as, as much as maybe Transformers is my cartoon, that animated series is their cartoon, you know. And so this is kind of sad, man, to have a whole department. And and speaking of which, the most entertaining Pixel Dan walkthrough he yeah, would do Fletcher. every year, yeah, would be the dude from DC Direct. That dude was fucking hilarious. And hilarious. They posted in a good that he's way. okay. He's got a job. Oh, so. he got saved. Oh, so yeah, he, he just got. He's probably because what they're talking about. Uh, what I read in one article was Warner Brothers has their own toy company or their own merchandising company, not a toy company. And that's what they're moving all the DC direct stuff over to them. So maybe he's going to be the liaison or maybe he's going to be above people or something like that. So, well, that's good. I'm glad to hear he made it again. Awful that fucking 20%, you know, and you're, you're talking about probably a lot of those people were like, Oh my God, I'm, I'm working in the field that I love, you know, these aren't people yeah. getting laid off from fucking doing clerical work or something. Well, I'm sure those there's those too, but I'm sure a lot of these people are just like, Oh my God, isn't it amazing that we work for DC comics and like not anymore, you know, kind of thing. So, and so right gotta... before their, right before their big, DC fan dome fan dumb thing that was kind of crazy. Yeah, I got a bunch of Go. DC direct stuff. I like their stuff. Do you? I I've got uh I've got the uh just the John Stewart Green Lantern from the Justice League. So that this same animated style, but the John Stewart. Um, just because that's all I do, but that. I, I do do the armored, I do do the armored uh, Batman. So I'm like, oh, did this armored Batman come out? Can I buy that now? I think he's on pre-order uh, Big Bad. Is he? Okay, so I I will go ch take a look at that while we're in a discussion somewhere. Because <laughs> uh, I do love armored Batman. Um, so yeah, very sad and, and crazy to see what's going to happen with that uh third party mmc stormbringer prime um so i love the stormbringer series it's one of the only series i've read in all the comics that i own um again not enough to buy a third party prime that's probably going to be 100 to 150 bucks but um looks really good he, he's a very good representation of him in my opinion uh very cool looking so any of you guys read any of that old idw i mean one do you guys read any comics yes yeah i read comics too but not transformers <laughs> uh what do you what what's your uh big three titles 
Um, I read a lot. Well, I haven't read anything in a while, but I used to be really big on the Ultimates, the Marvel Ultimates universe. Mm -hmm. um, I read most of the New 52 titles uh, for a while, mm -hmm. the action comics oh, wow. and the Superman uh, story. Um, but I really like to get trades. I like to just wait for a storyline to play out and then just buy the trade of it. Like uh, Long Halloween's really good. Um, what else? What's the other one? Uh, Hush is good. Jim Lee drew Oh, that. nice. Yeah. Um, and I also did get the, I got the, I think it's IDW on my Comicology app. I got the whole Mask series, that, that new Mask series they rebooted. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's IDW. Like 13 issues. Yeah, I got the whole the yeah. omnib omnibus on my com comicsology app. Hell yeah, hell yeah! What about you, Rock? What do you read? Uh, GI Joe, read? real well, GI Joe, a real American hero by the Larry Hama, the definitive GI <laughs> Joe book. Not the other one. The other one's Drek. Uh, I love that book. I read Star Wars. I mean, I read the same stuff. I buy the toys too. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Star Wars, Transformers. But if I can make a pick that's not a toy-related book, it's called Nailbiter. It's about this town in Oregon that has, um, I forgot how many, I think it was like 13 different serial killers have been born in the same town. It's a oh, really crazy. interesting book. It finished, but now they started it over again. Uh, huh. Nailbiter by IDW. <laughs> that, really that, that, sounds <laughs> that sounds awesome. Yeah, it does sound Yeah, if you, if you like horror, because that's not, there's not that many horror comics, so I like to get that one. Um, let's see. Uh, Sentinel, so they, they saved it to the very end. Uh, they added a tier for uh, 16,000 backers um, and hit that relatively quickly. So Sentinel has one day left, and we're getting... Come on, computer. I need to go get my charger. My shit's about to. Oh, no. Oh, we lost him. It's our show now, Rock. You... What are we talking about? I'm talking about sex toys. What? I thought we were going to talk <laughs> <laughs> So what we got in this week, I got in the... <laughs> I just I went on a little bit of a spending spree with uh, Blu-rays. Oh yeah, I saw you got some really nice uh, from Shout Factory. Fuck yeah, dude! I love their stuff. Now, do you buy the Shout Factory DVDs that get the exclusive figures? Because I know they do that every now and then. Certain, I did like, for Night one... of the Creeps. Okay. I did for Night of the Creeps. I didn't for Slumber Party Massacre. I wasn't. I'm not a huge. I mean, it's fine, but I I wasn't in any uh, kind of urge to get that figure. And right. then I didn't do it for Night of the Demons either. Uh, but I did do it for to get the Tom Atkins uh, Night of the Creeps figure because Tom Atkins is fucking awesome and he's in all kinds of 80s horror movies. Yeah, and it's one of those things like where else are you going to get a chance to get that figure ever again without paying exactly. an arm and a leg? So, and those are limited production, aren't they? Like a thousand or two thousand? Something like, yeah. I don't, like I don't that. know if NECA ever releases the, the numbers, but Shout Factory is really cool. They throw it up on pre order and they like, we have, you know, we'll tell you when the pre order without the figure ends. And well, speaking of that. NECA, I'm, st I'm still kicking myself because I've been looking for, they re release everything, but for whatever, they've never re released Dr. Loomis from, uh, yeah. from that line. Because it came, only came me. in that box set. Yeah, and I've still I have two. I have, and... <laughs> I have one in the box and then one loose when the uh, the house actually got broken. So I have the Loomis and the Michael from that set, and then I have one of the sets completely still in the box. Wow, both these are wearing Halloween shirts. What's the odds? Hey, hey, what up? <laughs> wow, what up, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, similar uh, thinking, huh? All my shirts are horror movies. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> and I'm wearing this because uh, we have friends that their father has created his own board game. And and when we say board, like, this shit will fucking blow your fucking mind. He has 16 different series of it that you can play. They do a whole, like, they do seasons where you have to sign up and and then you go and play and you have to commit all this time. It's the reason why I had to 
Thank you. Yeah. It's the reason why I had to push the recording an hour because you have to make time for it. You're not allowed to leave until you win. And we were playing series six, which is fantasy and horror. And mm -hmm. if you come wearing a fantasy or horror shirt, you get an extra hundred bucks to play during the game. So interesting. Yeah. So that's why I'm wearing this. I normally do not wear this. Not that there's anything wrong with that, Cliff. Yeah, there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, Jason. I'm offended that you would suggest that there might by defending it. <laughs> well, thank you for keeping people entertained while my, my system crashed. I love that, that it's at 18%. I'm like, oh, it's dying, and then it just died. Yeah, uh, as soon as you said it, it was just fine. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm glad that I've learned not to panic. Just go get the charger, start it back up. Um, well, at least but I have six... somebody to talk to now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, the 16,000 person tier unlocked a new, and this is kind of weird. It's kind of a cop out. It's a new head, but it's basically just revolves around which is kind of annoying in my opinion but hey whatever like a like a manny face is kind of yeah, yeah exactly the, like, we, box that hides the other two yeah, yeah exactly so oh. if you put it on you i mean you could see it here in the screenshots you could kind of yeah, see the yeah, other right. head It'd be like a power so, lord i guess <laughs> So I am just curious. I am going to do a quick, let's see. So they're at about 17,500 people times, what is it, 375? 349. 349, okay. Anyways, close enough. They've about made $6,500,000 on this fucking thing before it's even made. That is absolutely insane to me. But now they know where their bread's buttered, man. When they want to do this shit, they know how to fucking rock it. So, yeah, but wouldn't you rather, instead of like trying to buy this on the secondary market or waste your time going from store to store to store, wouldn't you rather just buy stuff this way where, hey, you know you're buying it, you're going to pay for it, but you're going to get it in nine months or a year? I just to me like if this was in store this would be 150 bucks that's what drives me nuts uh, okay like like to me the katana the fucking java sail barge um yeah dun, 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 dun. um the java sail barge probably Cliff should have been <laughs> <laughs> the call is coming from inside the house uh the java sail barge should have been 250 bucks but it was 500 because of the way they're fucking doing this shit um but again it, to me however they can get it to people and obviously 17,000 people are excited about this so good for them you know like i say i bought a fucking unicron at six hundred dollars or six hundred and seventy five dollars after shipping you know so I, if if it's the way they need to make this stuff and this stuff makes people happy more power to them you know it just sucks i'll never be able to buy this on clearance for 50 bucks somewhere <laughs> that's why you're pissed <laughs> your colors oh, have an extreme <laughs> oh it's an extreme coupon <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna find this at ross god damn it uh, <laughs> all right uh <laughs> movie stuff uh so this is kind of interesting made by mechanic studio and uh distributed by dr Wu. we've talked about this guy before this is scrapple a little spider guy we get his alt mode finally which is yeah a little uh sacker why is my internet so fucked up there's only one person streaming things in my house right now Ooh, excuse me, in my house right now. So that's supposed to be a microscope. Um, kind of weird that you're looking into his eyes, but at least it turns into something. And then something we've been talking about for quite a long time is Mohawk. 
mohawk. Um, I think what's uh, disappointing me the most about these is it's just plain like gray plastic for the most part. There's only a few paint hits on it, you know, that kind of thing. Just kind of looks unfinished, even though these are like the finished product or the finished fucking production things. Um, do like his motorcycle. I'm a motorcycle guy. Uh, how much is this going for? Oh, of course. I thought it was a link directly to this. So let's see. Oh, and they don't even have it yet. So, oh, they call it something else. This is called Mozart. So I'm just kind of curious what this guy will run, people. Mm, it helps if I can spell. Oh, nothing yet. Okay. Uh, and I haven't checked the chat in a while. Uh, let's see. KG or KG, KJ Smith. Night of the Creeps is great, man. One of my favorites when I was, oh, were you guys talking about Night of the Creeps and I missed it? Yep. Oh, I love, love Night of the Creeps, man. Love it. Uh, yeah, thrill me. <laughs> um, the Tri Sentinel was a Spidey story that gave us Cap, the gave us Captain Universe Spider Man. Oh, I did not know that. Hmm. So it literally had the three heads like that. That's fun around Casey. And while he, while that catches up to him, we'll move on here. Uh, for you, uh, ARH guys, Rock, do you have this? No, have I'm, this? I'm, I didn't because I'm just not a, I'm not a big Kickstarter guy. I don't like waiting, you know, a, a year, year and, and a half, half for my stuff. Yeah, <laughs> and I, I I've heard so many horror stories about people that <laughs> made a comic book. Like, I'm not going to lie. One of my friends made a, he, he collected like $17,000. Uh, to make a comic book, it's been like seven or eight years now. It's still not out yet. Oh, and he's a well-known GI Joe artist. I don't want to drop his name here, but <laughs> a lot of people know who he is, especially if you're a Snake Eyes fan, Robert Atkins. Uh, but it's just, but I don't. I mean, it's just like if you collect people's money, you should come out. It brings in the figures. There's a delay because uh, I believe with the Hama figure, there was an issue with the plastic. Mm. That some of them were breaking and they were brittle. And I have seen people already have broken hands on these already. Oh, Jesus. But I wish this was something that I could have bought at a con and had them sign it. But I, I'm just not a big fan of waiting, you know, two years plus for an action figure. So, and this, uh, so this one, oh, this is just, oh, yeah, this is a pre order that doesn't deliver until. March of 2021. So yeah, oh, even but now they, you're they already still... released one. Yeah, people... so so this must be they're gonna do a second run of it. Oh, okay. Uh, oh yeah, and that's what they were even saying. I remember in the original article when I first read about this that this was they were doing their own kind of thing where they had to get 150 units. To make it worth it for them to produce it so so it's been funded so yeah if you wanted it now it's literally factory time and shipping time to get back to the states so it's not as bad at least rock and you know they've yeah, you know made what I it might, yeah i might do it but i mean i've heard some of these horror stories where these figures just take forever yeah. you know oh so, well, trust trust me, me, forever yeah. Yeah, yeah, sectors did take forever. Oh, I mean, I, I, I would say I have nine Kickstarters that I paid for over a year ago, and and I'm not worried about it. I mean, uh, there has not been a Kickstarter yet where they took my money and didn't send me something. So I'm I'm pretty good track record, and I've been donating for or i've been pledging for 10 years on there or whatever but and while we're on kickstarter ryan joe's kickstarter has gone through it's fully funded he's just about to hit ten thousand dollars which is like uh 1500 over his goal and nice. you will see rock the farting dad in the comic book 
because I it... the tear to appear in the book. <laughs> yeah, good on you, Rod. And just to let you That's... know, my character's already been <laughs> love that he's I frozen. <laughs> I you're... will be oh, I'm frozen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're you're back. Oh, you were okay. frozen with you were frozen with your finger like this, and I will oh, be okay. in the comic book. Because <laughs> Rock the Farting Dad is going to be in the comic book, and I'm going to be the bus driver. And this is the best part: I'm going to be driving a school bus that says RHP on it, which is a joke that goes back to the What's on Joe Mind guys mm -hmm. that went on Star Joe's. And they said Rock Hard Penis. Yeah. So I found it hysterical because anything dick and fart shit joke related, it's all about me. I love it. So I'm going to be the bus driver and I will be in the comic. So looking nice. forward to it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad that you got in it. And we'll be we'll be talking about it for sure here uh, uh, in Grab Bag as well. So Okay. Great. Um... <laughs> Uh, Casey uh, was curious if Mohawk would scale with four inch figures. I it doesn't look like it because I think this is a deluxe right here, right? I think that's the deluxe uh sound wave. And here he's oh, yeah, because it's supposed to scale in the studio series. So if it's a motorcycle. It's gonna be pretty freaking small, like those fucking uh, Alita ones and all of those. So, but maybe that would scale with four inch. Where's my freaking? I think I have them here. I don't know if I have one as a motorcycle though. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do this real quick here. Where's the three and three quarter figure? Okay, so this is. And let me get back to here. Definitely not. So this is here. Sorry. That is a Studio Series motorcycle, which I don't know if he'll be that. Well, yeah, he probably will be. And then this is a G.I. Joe riding it. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's like a pocket bike. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And this is an O-ring figure, so it's even smaller than a actual four-inch figure. So yeah, I would. That is one tiny transformer there. Um. All right. Let's go surfing now. Voltron Toy Deco. Shit. And I meant I even pulled out my other Voltron to open it because I still haven't opened it yet. Oh, and I'm not sharing my screen anymore. I even pulled out my Voltron to open it to like give people an opinion if they missed the other Super 7 uh, Ultimate Voltron to see if I could recommend it. And I fucking never opened opened it. I got drunk and passed out last night. So <laughs> my bad. Um, but this is a toy deco. Very cool. It's got the, it's got the numbers on it. Um, they, I like that they've done the metallics on the, on the green and the blue. And I would assume the red and the yellows are going to be metallics just to match. Uh, very cool chrome sword, chrome shield as well. So if you missed out on the first pre-order, the and crap, it's, it's not, I don't even have it in here. It's in the living room because I was going to open it. The, the boxes that they're doing for the ultimates are absolutely amazing. Um, here's my, here's my, uh, Toxic Avenger. Let me get down here. Um, pull it back here. So they all have this slip case. Oh. The this, this slip case on the Voltron is all metallic. It's like metallic black in the front, metallic red, metallic green, metallic. So it's all the different colors of them. And I mean, they're just absolutely laid out amazing in the package of uh, lots of dope artwork, you know, super clean because they don't have to have all the bullshit that a, uh, a standard store release does with all the child precautions and all of that. So 
if you're if you're a Voltron fan and you missed out on the first one, the packaging alone is like Comic Con quality. And so, if you're at all interested, I would definitely suggest pre-ordering this, or even better, buy it from Big Bag Toy Store. And if uh, when you start seeing people get it. You can cancel your order from Big Bad Toy Store and get a credit, even if it's in your pile of loot. So um, I'm, I'm still going to open mine to see if I want to order this one, but I most likely am because I'm a, I'm a bitch like that. <laughs> um, and then uh, best action figures. Uh, so these are really interesting. These are put out by Loyal Subjects, which people... No, I think I have a loyal subject here. People know for these little guys, little super deformed vinyl figure guys. Um, they are doing a five inch scale action figure, which is really interesting. So something that's going to be just shorter than He-Man, you know, in the Origins line. So these aren't very big, but they're bigger than four inch. And I guess I, I assume that's how they're able to get so many licenses. Um, but here we have ACDC, Big Trouble in Little China, Cowboy Bebop, Full Metal Alchemist, uh, Kiss, Lord of the Rings, Napoleon Dynamite, Naruto. Naruto? Naruto. Naruto. Okay, I was gonna say yeah, rock bats to know with the teenage that. son. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then a he slash. <laughs> um so I'm a big I'm a big fan of Big Trouble in Little China and uh, yeah. light the lightning god or whatever he was is one of my favorites from that show. So this will be a real easy one for me to kind of dip my toe in and see what I think of these. But 22 points of articulation, 16 bucks a piece, very affordable. You know, Hasbro always says it only costs them a dollar more to make a three and three quarter than it does a six inch. So it looks like they're taking advantage of that. And like I say, very sneaky hitting that five inch scale because that means they can get licenses i mean how many people fucking how many people have made kiss figures and naruto figures are they gonna be making like are they gonna make slash but are they gonna make axel i like, didn't are they see Napoleon? are they gonna make pedro or, or is it, it just like one-offs yeah exactly that's what i don't know but I could I could stand with just the lightning guy from Big Trouble in Little China, no problem. It's I need just a, a random. <laughs> He's like, I'm not in unless I get a Wu-Ping. Oh, I'm getting it, but I'm getting it hoping that there's going to be a Jack Burton and a Wu-Ping. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I mean, let's see. Cass is in for Big Trouble in Little China. Um, let's see. Casey said he's good on the third party Mohawk since it's so small. Uh, Kaz loves some Voltron as well. So, yeah, uh, I'm so curious to see where come, this goes. Is Slash gonna come with like hypodermic needles and some black tar heroin or anything? <laughs> like, I'm just kind of curious, like, what they're gonna let's come see. with. I think they just have the package. Yeah, they don't even show accessories. Oh, but... look, he's even got a little bottle of Jack Daniels. <laughs> oh, it's awesome! <laughs> what? Oh, I'm like, what are you looking? Are you looking? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! Shit. First little Jack Daniels bottle accessory. I see the nice. demon. Yeah. Oh my god! All right. Um, <laughs> Store report: Galaxy's Edge Black Series showing up. Um, so we get the Hondo and Naka here. And then uh, something I was excited for, and it sucks because this is as big as the picture gets. Let me see if I can, I don't know, blowing up. Uh, it gets a little bit better. Uh, first glimpse at the Mountain Trooper, which I'm all about being in the mountains here. So uh, those are showing up. Those are Target exclusives. So if you're out there hunting classifieds, those are out there now as well 
Um, Target first with the Black Series Phase 4. So the first time they have changed packaging. And Jesus, I don't know how long. Uh, all right. Come on, Link. Uh, Black Series Phase 4. What does it have? It has uh, Stormtrooper. Oh, shit. I, I can't think of the good ones it has. Is this the one that has the Camino Trooper? Oh, really? Their site's been up and down all weekend. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'll look into it. What is it called? The uh... Uh, it's uh, well, it's Black Series Phase Four Wave One, and I think this is the one that has Admiral Akbar. Uh, has Admiral Akbar the Loam? Lomac or whatever the gray Ewok is. Okay, this is Loma. Up. Loma. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to my Gmail. All right, yeah, it's see. uh yeah, Admiral Akbar. I think it's Tebow. Oh, it's Tebow. It's, oh. Vader. Tebow. it's uh Luke Skywalker as the rebel pilot, like we saw is from Empire. That oh yeah, off. from that card. Yeah. It's uh it's the Mandalorian, but with the the other armor. It's a stormtrooper. Oh, the best car, which yeah, the best car, and there's a clone looking. trooper. Can't really make out which one it is, but it looks like it might be an Inferno troop. It's no kind of long rifle. Oh, uh, the Camino, the gray one. Okay. So yeah, we I got it pulled up here. So good looking out, Cliff. Cliff got me a, a best car. Uh, free shipping to my house. Thank you, Cliff. I appreciate oh, yeah. that. Um, now, I ha I've had the Tebow and the Admiral Akbar and the Camino in my uh, wish list on Amazon. The Camino is, has been sold out since day one. It's never come back. And the other two have only dropped like 13 cents. But so, yeah, I've got a, uh, I've got to get at least the Ewok and the fucking Admiral Akbar. Camino Trooper, yeah. I like gray and I like troopers. That's the only reason. I got the Luke and the ESB carded. Don't need another Vader. Best car armor, Mandalorian, super important. Another stored trooper, blah, blah. Uh, Cass has got the Admiral Akbar on order. I just hate the freaking... I just hate the off-white little thing that goes over his clothes. I really wish it matched the actual figure, but oh well. Um, let's see. Car oh, wait. G2 Megatron and Sandstorm. So I love G2 Megatron. Um, so that's pre-ordered already for me. Um, Sandstorm, no connection to that whatsoever, G2. Although I just noticed it's got an animal painted on its nose cone, and that's usually a must-buy for me, but I think it's still a skip. Either one of you care about G2? Nope. No. No. <laughs> Uh, you skipped over the reaction devastator. This is a bigger figure. Oh, oh shit. It I looks did. pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, and I'm actually kind of excited about this. Um, so this is this is their uh, reaction as their three and three quarter line, but this Devastator is actually six inches tall on an oversized card. So I'm actually kind of excited about this. Oh, and they don't show any of the cool pictures. They showed a picture of him like holding Prime by his uh, feet, so you could really see the difference in what a regular reaction figure looked like and this one. So um, I've been cherry picking reaction, especially now that they're 18 bucks, but especially at 24 bucks, that's a reasonable price in my opinion. I actually got to see these in hand last week at a comic book store, uh, not the Devastator, but they did have, um, they have one of these Sectacons and a few others. They're mm -hmm. really nice, and the card is beautiful. But with tax being twenty bucks, I just can't. I can't do it. 
Yeah, the Just only can't. one. I have the Prime and the Soundwave, and the only reason why I did that is because I got them on sale for like twelve bucks plus tax. So yeah, I pulled I mean, the trigger. Were, then. If they were ten, twelve dollars to be all over. But I can't. I mean, I, I always go back to it. If a NECA figure, a deluxe is twenty three or twenty four dollars, and this is eighteen, I can't go. I can't do it. Yeah, can't. There's the big bad boy. Um, okay, skip Tim, and then we're on to carbon freezing playset. Uh, on sale at least at the time I was doing these show notes yesterday. And again, internet having a problem here. Um, but basically, what it was was 25% off, which knocked it down to $37.50. So then with tax, it's free delivery from GameStop after 35 bucks. So even with tax, you're looking at only about 40 bucks for the carbon freezing play set. So I'm going to say it right now. Oh, it's that's going to be a temple art because again, that's fine. I'm going to say it right now. That's going to be a Black Friday $24.99 item on like entertainment earth and stuff. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking too, and that's I I was really close to pulling the trigger. I was only going to do one. I'm not going to do the whole get get two different ones. But I I'm with you, and I hate being that guy because they're not going to make playsets unless we buy them. You know? Oh, now but you got play that twenty percent off. But yeah, I agree. I agree. So it looks like the 25% is off. This is a flash sale. I don't know how long that's going to last. Um, but so you can get it for $42.50 right now. And it's about to ship. People are starting expected date 819, which was four days ago. Um, but it's, I've seen people have this in hand. So it's got to be coming soon. Yeah, da, da, da. Those are uh, those are those. That doesn't impress me as much as that Tantive thing that we saw earlier. Really? You know, See, I, and I yeah. I would get that before I'd get the Tantive, just because you can have Luke and Vader battling on on it. Like that's one of the. It's the iconic the first time they meet. You know, kind of thing. right. But it takes much less figures to make the diorama. <laughs> true, true. To my point previously. That yeah, to have, less space to, to take up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and less multiples you have to buy, you know. Um, bug bite. Uh, I bitched about this in the group. Uh, yeah. Uh, just totally. And uh, and I forget who it was, but I... I, uh, I they were talking about so bug bite originally in 2004 was an homage to the bug from the GoBots, the big like this not a super GoBot, but the bigger GoBot that was a beetle um and so as an homage to that they made it white and purple and then in 2007 the club did it part of their shattered was it shattered glass or was it just, it was part of that really expensive 2007 set. And they used the more sports car -y version of Bumblebee that was out in classics at the time. And so here they're using the cliff jumper mold as opposed to the Bumblebee remold of this mold. And I just don't want it because it's that sports car and somebody in the group had put that uh, VW doesn't let their uh, uh, license be used for villains. And that makes oh. complete sense. I mean, they couldn't, they didn't let people use the bug license forever for anything that was army or war or guns or anything like that. So that's why we didn't get VW Beatles in the line forever. But, and that's why we never got the convertible car for Adolf Hitler for Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. <laughs> yes. We didn't that's get that exactly. car. We got the Jeep and we got the other truck. We didn't get that one. Yeah, because it was a fucking Volkswagen. So. Yeah. 
So again, I mean, good on them. Uh, I mean, I know people are excited about this, but this is a, I'm like, where is actually pictures of it? They show the car forever. But this is an easy pass. It's got the mercenary faction, which I didn't even see that. Was that actually <laughs> was in? Goatee. <laughs> and, and War for Cybertron, he just didn't have any symbol. I didn't think that there was a mercenary faction. But there it is. I didn't finish it yet. Um, all right, uh, War for Cybertron Beast Box. This is actually third party, but this is really dope in my opinion. Again, Dr. Wu here. So he's really going after that non-masterpiece uh, market. So you get two cassettes here. One turns into a very cool looking gorilla. One turns into a very cool looking condor. And then... Uh, and then they can fit into his chest. And then they combine into this guy. So this is a no-brainer cool. for me. Yeah. I mean, and you think about the size of, you know, the size of the War for Cybertron cassettes are like this big. This is a dope little dude, in my opinion. So. Oh, and I love him because he's all gray. So. <laughs> <laughs> the Rock's favorite deco, yo. All great Transformer, buddy. <laughs> All right. Pulse update email. Let me pull this sucker up for people um, because I had a very strong, I thought a very well supported conspiracy theory on the last episode. Um, let's see. That's not one. Oh, I that you'll have do. to renew the day before the sale. Yeah, that they were going to make you renew <laughs> right before the Comic-Con exclusives went on sale, and they proved me wrong. So it says, thanks again for your feedback about Hasbro Pulse Premium Program. I filled out a survey. I'm sure everybody got this, whether they filled out the survey or not, but uh, we think you're going to like what we have in the works. Later this year, we'll be updating Hasbro Pulse Premium Program to give you more of the things you're looking for in a loyalty program. Here's a sneak peek. Rewards just by having a Hasbro Bro oh, Pulse yeah. account. So some free money there. Tiered program based on how much you spend or you can buy your way to the next tier up front. Your choice. Uh, that's got me a little worried. So uh, that means so uh, <laughs> mute yourself, Rock. Uh, exclusive access to sweepstakes products and content and access to epic perks throughout the year. So what does that mean for you, Hasbro Pulse Premium status now? Nothing just yet. Your current status remains until the new program goes into effect. We'll be sharing more details on what this means for you over the next couple months. So keep an eye out. So by them saying in the next couple months, it means that anybody a, that's a Pulse premium member. And again, for most people, they just bought something at Toy Fair a year and a half ago, and we're still Hasbro Pulse premium members. Uh, and by them saying a couple months, that means we should have that through the San Diego Comic-Con pre-sales. So I'm excited about that. Please, that Slick, give me a Logan. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, good. See, it's not something I need. So I. Yeah, that's I the only will. thing I want is that Logan Professor X two pack. Okay. All right, and people hit me up. Hit me up. Like I say, I I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna buy my shit, place the order. But if I can go back in and then start placing orders for other people, let me know. I'll help out anybody that's not a Pulse Premium member. So my Sorry big about thing the is about my son. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. No worries. Was I and I missed it. Was he saying, "Oh, is that what you stream on?" Yeah, he thought I was in class when he was at homework on Zoom. So he was like, "Oh, he's like, what are you guys? Oh, stream, stream yard. Okay." <laughs> oh, sorry. Got to get a shot in there. Oh, um. Okay. All right, what we got, Rock? What you got? I know you're excited to talk about what you got. Well, first, I gotta give a big shout out to Ed Arn. So what he did is, he oh, he started a group that's basically for us Long Island guys. That's a fuck the scalper group. 
<laughs> him and all the other guys, Gil Tucker, a bunch of other uh, guys, they'll go to a store. They'll be like, hey, I'm at the Target in Riverhead. They take photos of everything there, and they let everybody know what's there. And then he'll be like, does anybody need anything? Let me know. I'll pick it up for you. We can figure it out the details later. I mean, because Long Island's only 60 miles wide and 12 miles across. So really, you can mm. pretty much get within a half hour, you can meet up with somebody. So uh, Ed went to a Walmart that was about a half hour away from where I live that I didn't even know existed. <laughs> and he posted a pic of the retro display for the Joes. And I told him I've been looking for a retro display. So if somebody can grab one from me, I'll buy it. Well, you know me. I can't wait. Money, you know, my free PayPal money is burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> oh, no. I negotiate for one. I negotiate for one on eBay for $99 free shipping. And the guy lives in Texas. Oof. 20 minutes later, Ed sends me a, a, a picture. Rock, I'm in Comac. Is this what you want? So... <laughs> I run to the Comac uh, Walmart, <laughs> and lo and behold, it's sitting there with six figures. So I grab it. I go up to the register. I do the self-scan, and I, I pay for all the figures. And uh, the guy goes to me, uh, how much is the display? And I go, no, no, no. I go, I'm buying all the figures. I figured it'd be easier for me to bring it to my car by leaving them on there. <laughs> he goes, okay. He goes, hold on a second. He goes and gets the manager. Now I'm like, oh, oh fuck. No. So he gets the manager. And she goes, you're doing us a favor, honey. She goes, we would just throw it out. So now oh, nice. I'm thrilled. Yeah. So I bought six figures. I got four snake eyes, two storm shadows. I hooked up my buddy Star Joe's Chuck with the uh, Storm Shadow and the Snake Eyes. And I got to tell you, these figures are pretty. Blah, blah, blah. Lotus was absolutely right. You know, the card back is absolutely paper thin. When you look at the back of it, it's in five different languages. They're all damaged. And like you were saying, how, they're, uh, how they lay in the display. Then when you look at the, the actual card back, where the bubbles attach, there's like another indentation, and maybe from when the machine presses it on there. Let me tell you, you would never be able to get one of these things graded and have a grade high. Everyone's dinged up. Every single one. But I sold one set on eBay. The others are for my friends. But uh, I got my display, so I'm thrilled. But what I did get in also, you know, I've been trying to get all my uh, original G.I. Joes. I don't know if I showed this one. No, I, I haven't seen the Stalker. Unpunched Action Force Stalker, which for some reason comes with Roadblock's backpack. No, <laughs> no clue why. Um, <laughs> this is a, a pretty cool Joe. You don't see too many. Oh, no, yeah, you don't see. Yeah, that's right. But his flag point was cut, so I saved about seven hundred dollars on him. <laughs> I only paid I only paid a hundred and fifty for him. So you'd be you know, eight fifty if he had the flag point back then. Yeah, in this condition. Yeah, because this thing is really minty. I was gonna say it looks fucking amazing. Minty, yeah. They've been selling for like eight and change. <laughs> and uh, the last Love job I you. got in I got a Takara Duke mint on card. Probably oh, a little yellow, nice. but well, that's but cool. same thing. Like I'm not, I'm not spending a grand or more on a Duke. You know yeah. what I mean? So this will do for my collection. Takara, is... yeah. What was that about Takara's? How much Gosh, is a Takara Duke for? I got that one for a steal. I got that one for eighty-one dollars. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, that was an absolute steal. Um, I do, but of course, because I, I bought this uh, stalker today, I mean, I, I got this one between shows. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, today I want a straight arm stalker. So now I only need two straight arm Joes to finish my run. I need a Cobra Officer and a Scarlet. 
and Scarlet's between a thousand and sixteen hundred, and Cobra Officer's like five and change. Oh wow! So, but hey, you know what? Since I finished my Star Wars run, I've gotten this straight arm run. I've knocked it out really quick. I was going to say, if that's the only two you need left, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I. You know what it is? What last uh, last show I got in Flash, Rock and Roll. On my eBay page, I still have Grunt and uh, I sold Breaker. I still have Grunt and Short Fuse. So I'm in no rush. I got two left. Two left out of the originals. It's not bad. Hell yeah. So. Hell yeah. yeah that, and, and that's what I got. So uh, so did you uh, Welsh on the, on the Texas guy? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> You're frozen if you can hear us. <laughs> That's oh, it sounded story. like an exciting story he was about yeah, to tell. Yeah, he was like, oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See, if we're big enough to go viral, we could have that be like hashtag 202. <laughs> take, your, take your best picture of you going... <laughs> oh, oh well, I'm I'm back. Okay, that might have been my wife by that time. Uh, so what happened was, I send the guy a picture of it in my wagon. I said, "Hey, you won't believe this." I go, "I actually was able to get one today." I go, "So if you're gonna, I go, if you want to cancel my order, I'm fine with that because it's gonna cost you a lot of money to send it from Texas to New York." Yeah. And he writes me back, uh, "Sorry, bro, no cancels." I'm like, you didn't even ship it yet. So you know what? I'm going to say is fuck that guy because you, this thing is four feet tall and 14 inches wide. That's going to yeah. cost him $40 to ship that from Texas, minimum. Yeah. And he's going to go make a custom box for it. But you know what? I'm going to have two of them now. Yeah. So it's not, the, it's not the end of the world because you know what? You can actually fit a ton of Joes on here. I only put four to five figures on each peg and you could fit maybe two more. Wow. So you know how I am with my wow. racks and my display yeah. rack. So, I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll change. I'm very happy with this rack. You know, that's I'm awesome. Yeah. No, that does look great. Yeah. I mean, what I really would love next is to get that Motu one that I've been seeing in the stores, but wow, that thing is big. And yeah. I haven't seen that at all. Oh, it's I haven't huge. seen a single I've... Motu. Yeah, this one didn't have anything either. This um, this Walmart I went to was actually pretty new, and their toy aisle was really bad. But they, I haven't seen any Motu yet, so I'll be on the hunt. But I got to say, what Ed's doing is really good because today he put up a picture. Hey, I'm at your Walmart. Does anybody need a Battle Cat? And somebody needed it. Yeah, send me 27 bucks. PayPal, boom. I'll hold on to it for you. So. Really, uh, a really good thing he's doing. It's small community right now, but it's growing, and it's just uh, everybody helping each other's out. So, like I said, fuck the scalpers because there's been a lot of turmoil on these GI Joe groups and the NECA groups with the uh, with the turtles and. Oh yeah, I'm glad the communities are all getting together to say fuck these people. You know. Well, and it's one of those things too. Is the problem is is there there's people in the community that are fucking doing this shit too. You know, right. I follow black major, the dude that makes, uh, the dude that makes all those O ring, like yeah. bootleg O ring figures. He did the same. He fucking bought a whole, he bought the entire display stand with his had like 17 figures on it or something. And wow. people were bitching and, and he's army building the fucking, he's army building the Cobra Island troopers. And so oh, he is like, yeah. he has like 22 of the troopers so far, you know, and I know he's playing, he's paying aftermarket for a lot of that shit, but you know, he posts that shit and everybody grumbles. Well, they grumble if they don't give a shit about getting kicked off of his Instagram because then you can't buy shit from him, you know? You so he's trying to get that unlock of like the 20 snake eyes in the box. He's got yeah. 20 classified yeah. snake eyes. <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> that he's trading for Cobra Island figures. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly right. It's oh my god. So I mean, there's people in the community that's doing it, but like I say, I I would tell that dude if if he's going to be that way, be like, all right, it better come fucking mint. There better not be one ding on that shit, you know, or I'll put in a case. You well, know? the other thing too, it's like the AEW wrestling figures. It's funny because they they announced six figures, and there was one was um, it's Dustin Rhodes, Dusty Rhodes' son. They made mm -hmm. his wife, and everybody's like, "Why the fuck do they make Brandy Rhodes? She doesn't even really wrestle." So what they did was the only people that got Brandy Rhodes was if you pre-ordered it from uh, Ringside Collectibles. Ah. So now, so now Walmart got this massive display that has the AEW figures and it has the UFC figures. Guess what? No Brandy Rhodes figure. Now Brandy is selling on the aftermarket for a hundred dollars. <laughs> so <laughs> now they're re-releasing these figures again, Wave One, but they're not going to be available till. Are you Are you there, Slick? Yeah, yeah, you froze. Okay. For, they're not going to be yeah. available till when? They're not, November. Oh, so okay. now everybody that's got this brandy figure selling for a hundred bucks, she's the worst figure in the line. But they purposely made less of her <laughs> to draw demand. And the guy Jeremy Padauer is a genius. He he was the one it's who made all the. Awesome. Uh, yeah, he's a genius <laughs> when it comes to marketing. Uh, he's even doing the one in five hundred figures, where it's like you're going to get this rare figure. It's going to be worth a lot of money. So I haven't wow, seen yeah. the AEW figures yet, but I've already seen the fucking people buying them and putting in shitty uh, Mattel basic figures back oh. in the package and oh, fig man. swappers. Those people are fucking like herpes, man. You just I hate yeah. swappers. Oh, fucking terrible. Yeah. But we... yeah, interesting times with toy collecting. I haven't seen swappers since our, since our Toys R Us closed. Like that was the only place I saw swapped figures or missing build the figure pieces. And now to their credit, my Walmarts and targets will check tape. Like they'll fucking pick oh. up your figure and they'll like, look, they'll make sure the tapes intact and all that kind of shit. So I'm impressed about that. But, um, all right. Uh, Cliff, what you got? Um, well, I got the, uh, Target Roadblock. Nice. The Target. only one anyone can find. Yeah. The, who was the only G.I. Joe that Target <laughs> even had? He was on the peg with the Ghostbusters figures. <laughs> so I got I got the Roadblock. I got the, the Amazon exclusive Snake Eyes. Or I'm sorry. Yeah. Nice. I got to tell you, nice. he's got a little bit of a wobbly chest joint. But other than that, he might be my favorite classified figure yet. He's awesome. He's and you've so opened articulation. you've opened all of yours, right? All of them, yeah. And so I I've only opened Snake Eyes and he had that wobbly chest. Did your Snake Eyes have a wobbly chest too? Um I don't remember Snake I know Roadblock did. Um Okay. I don't know if Snake so this Eyes is, did as well. Yeah. Okay. So this is kind I of I could a see them thing. using that hood for Zartan. Now that I'm oh, looking at it, this figure is oh, so yeah. so much fun to pose. Like he's awesome. That, that's um, so I got him. I got the NECA Ultimate Pinhead. Oh. <laughs> that looks incredible. Um, got him at Target. Mm -hmm. Like so, that was cool. And then I got I just got another vintage figure. I finally picked up a Kevin Spacey Lex Luthor. Which oh, is nice. cheap now, probably because it's Kevin Spacey. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I bought the Superman Returns Clark to Superman figure back in 06 because I just wanted the Superman, the basic Superman. And I never once saw Lex Luthor on the shelves ever. So, yeah, you know, I was going to say, I didn't even realize they made that. That's insane. So he was like 12 bucks. He's 14 years old. I got him for 12 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, take, and and it, and he's taking yeah. advantage of your other figures. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's separate, he's separate. He's in his own bag. <laughs> and I got this guy in from Amazon. That oh, looks nice. pretty good. Nice. This is the one that uh, came a little creased. I bought two. 
One of them, oh. they both came, I bought two so they would come in a box and not in a bag. Mm. Um, and one of them is almost perfect, and this one has a little bit of a crease right here, so this is going to be my opener. Oh, okay. Nice. Because I love me some Heinen Carbonite. Well, yeah, and I was going to say, I mean, to all the people that couldn't get the Comic-Con one, like, that's a dream. It's not for me, uh, because he was only 15 bucks, right? Yep. He was less than a normal figure. So uh, and then I got a shit ton of Blu-rays this week. I got like eight <laughs> or nine Blu-rays. <laughs> all horror movies, all shot factory. <laughs> yeah. I I wish I could do that. I I uh, that's the one thing I like cheap out on. If I can if I can make a copy of something, that's perfectly fine for me. But I'm really weird. I need the box. <laughs> I need what? the box. With, with my Blu-rays, <laughs> I need the box so it can go yeah. on the shelf. <laughs> Well, I fucking I got uh I got Thundercats in this week. Uh finally pulled the trigger on it. It dropped to like 23 bucks on Amazon and pulled the trigger on it. And then fucking today I see that it's that every episode's on Hulu. I'm like, ah, oh. and I'm glad I have it because I have all my, you know, I have Silverhawks, I have Mask, I have master all the goods i have all my good stuff in box sets so i'm glad i have it but i was just like i bought it because i wanted to just start watching it you know but yeah physical media is dying and i'm just trying to get as many movies as i can before, <laughs> before we can't buy blu-rays anymore <laughs> exactly um let's see what did i fucking get this week oh i guess uh my big gets were uh Somebody posted a Walmart that just had 15 pegs of Masters of the Universe figures. So um, I hadn't seen one figure. All I had ever seen was Battle Cat over the last three weeks. And somebody posted a Walmart that was only maybe 10 minutes away from me. So I went there. Um, the dope thing was is it wasn't only those like 10 pegs they had them all lined up on the upper shelf. So I got two He-Men and one Skeletor all unpunched. Nice. And, and uh, I'm opening one of the He-Men, one of the Skeletors, but I was like, oh, but I keep the card back. So it's nice that I have unpunched card backs as well. Um, eh. I'm like, I, I like it. Um, the I'll tell you what, I finally opened the Battle Cat because I got the He-Man. And the Battle Cat sucks, in my opinion. Ooh, like, really? Yeah. Um, it's, it's hip joints are all just hinged. So there's no, I thought they would be ball joints. So like you could spread his arms out, you know, spread his legs out like that or something no they're all just tinged um there's a hinge at what a human would call the elbow joint but nothing in the paws um the head is good i like the head the head has a very deep uh a very deep hinge up and down and then ball jointed on the head itself and the jaw opens up so i i was impressed about that but i was really disappointed with that battle cat i thought it would be especially at 25 bucks you know i thought it should have ball joints in the in the shoulders and and maybe like the front two paws have hinges in the paws but um, and the He-Man's good. I, I like the articulation in it. Again, it's all kind of limited because of all the muscles. You know, nothing, nothing goes past 90 on anything. Um, I like the ball jointed heads. They, they still fucked up the sword holding hand and the sword holding hand hinges this way where the other that. hand every fight like what the fuck how many fans have to complain that you who holds a sword like this who holds a sword I do. With, 
<laughs> Who does not like have a slashing, you know? And then the whole and you can hold so, Yeah, exactly. So I mean, luckily the hands are swappable. I I would hope that they're gonna make another they'll make a figure that has the same skin tone as He-Man that has a hand that does that. But it's just stupid mistakes like that. Um, the weapons are are blue. The shield and the axe are blue instead of gray for some reason, you know. Um, so the comic was good. I like the comic. It's a little four-page comic, um, eight double-sided. Uh, I mean, so it scratches itches, but it could have just been done better. How's the head? Uh, How's the head in person? The head is better. I don't. I don't mind the head as much. I would have rather. I. I would never have paid the secondary market for that Comic Con set that had oh, the vintage yeah. head, but I would have rather had the vintage head on it for sure. Well, that'll but, come with the the battle armor guy, right? The battle. Yeah, armor that's. Guy. I'm. I'm assuming. You know. Um, but yeah. Besides that, not not too much. I got the Tron Comic Con exclusive. I said I wasn't going to buy it because it didn't match a VHS, um, but I got it for less than retail. I got it for thirty five bucks shipped. I feel wow. bad for the guy that was selling it because it's a forty dollar retail figure. So not only did he have to ship it from Canada, he had to pay the eBay fees. <laughs> and I still got it for 35 bucks. I, I, it, those kind of moments, I feel bad. I'm like, sorry, no uh, one did on you your auction. Some. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. So now I'm trying to find the same. So the, the picture that the figure is based off is on the back of a VHS cassette. It's not, it's not that they're homaging the VHS artwork. They're homaging a picture on the back of the cassette. And so uh, now what I'm looking for is an old school clamshell version of that cassette. And I found one. It, I'm watching it on eBay, waiting for a sale, and hopefully it doesn't get sold. But it's only like 20 bucks to get a nice, like, good, ver good quality clamshell uh, that reflects that artwork. And then... Did I mention I got the Mega Constructs uh, He-Man set, the Roton and the Battle Cat? I don't think so. No. Okay, I got that too. It's, this two weeks throws me off. Um, so the Mega Constructs Roton with Merman and Battle Cat with uh, Battle Armor He-Man. I got that. And that was a fun build. A little bit repetitive on the Roton. Um, the Roton does spin like it has a gear system and a rubber wheel underneath it. So if you push it, it spins the Roton. Um, again, a little... The, the Mega Constructs Battle Cat has more articulation than the fucking $25 Origins Battle Cat. I think that may be what is pissing me off. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I got all those, and I I think that's really, really about it. Well, what's more important than what you got in, what has gone out? How are you doing with those Star Wars figures? Haven't sold one thing in two months. <laughs> and now my wife, they have, they have been told they'll be working at home until... Uh, 2021 so the rest wow. of the year so the room I crammed all of those into now she's like we need to clean all that out because I need an office so yeah I haven't done shit granted now the app I'm working on so I'm not employed necessarily but I'm working on an app that's been keeping me super busy uh We've had summer camp, our besties camp, my daughter's like summer camp that we alternate houses. That's been over here twice in the last two weeks. So that's always a nightmare. So 
I need to get on it. Thank you, Rock, for calling me out. Every time. Oh, I, I didn't mean me to call me. you out. I was just curious. No, I just no, I no, I need it. I need it. Um, but yeah, I haven't done shit. I haven't sold anything in like because two uh, I finally itemized. I'm down to. I have three figures left out of 330 that I got from that from Shane. Wow! And I spent seven hundred dollars. My eBay sales of four thousand dollars on that. Jesus Christ! <laughs> and that was all open. I guess with wrestlers, there's not a ton of accessories. Normally, no, right? they they so. were missing shitloads of accessories. They and were missing the still robes. Just yeah, I mean, I took a beating on the ones that were missing accessories, but I have it itemized on my phone what my total sales were. I'm waiting for my final eBay bill, but that's how I've been funding all these vintage Joes with my free PayPal money, you know. <laughs> uh, but really, it's uh, you're going to see it. Like One thing I got to tell you, I know how organized you are with your spreadsheets. I'm telling you, definitely keep track, and it's going to be amazing. Because it, it, my wife can't believe how I step in shit like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I'm hoping so. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I can lift this up to, yeah, people. I'm blocking the big piles. But, I mean, there's just literally shit piled up all over here, shit piled up all behind me because I've been buying a tons of shit without selling anything. We should, All in due time. we should record an episode where literally you just go through that box of Star Wars figures and we catalog <laughs> them all. <laughs> and that's the episode. Oh my God. That would be a five hour. It, it took us, it took us four hours to pack them up. And oh, most shit. of them were already in boxes. That's what's crazy. Like most of them were already kind of packed pretty well, but we repacked some shit. And oh my God. I have a brilliant idea. What is always happens around Labor Day? We're gonna have the um, Jason Spiller mattress boy. sales. My no. wife gets drunk and sleeps the whole weekend. No mattress the sales. Lewis, <laughs> the Jerry Lewis telethon. We're gonna have the Jason Spiller <laughs> toy telethon. It's gonna be twenty four hours. He's not gonna be allowed to sleep. He's gonna put nothing but eBay auctions up for twenty four hours. <laughs> I wish I could do that. I joke about my wife getting drunk and falling asleep. I, I'd be like, all right, let's do this. I'll take a few shots to begin with. And then two hours in, I'm like, I'm just going to lie down on the ground here real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> be like 7 a.m. the next morning. Huh? Where am I? <laughs> I'll tell you, it, it, it does get addictive when you put up a bunch of items and then – you see it sell. You wake up in the morning. You see how many things sold oh, I, or how many offers you have. Oh, it's the best. I I agree. I agree. It's it's one of those things that once you put in two to three hours worth of work of researching, because of course I got to research shit. I'm not going to start yeah. it off at like ninety nine cent bids or anything. So I got to research shit. Then I, um, depending if I want to pay shipping or not, you know, like. If I'm going to do free shipping, it's easier. Like if I know something's going to go for a mint, I'll do free shipping. But if it's if it's going to just barely skate by, I want to charge them shipping. So then it's got to be boxed and weighed and all that kind of shit. I just remembered something else I got in. So on episode 200, I ripped open this guy. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got him and Little John for $15 shipped. <laughs> nice. I have that whole line carded. I love it. Yeah, you, you can't beat the vintage goodness for such little amount of money. <laughs> Anything yeah. Hunter did is is gold to me. <laughs> I have the I've got the was it the Friar Tuck just because I'm a Gamorian guard guy. So. Yeah, I only need two more to finish the line. I just need uh Morgan Freeman and I need Azim? Uh, Will. Yeah, I need Azim and Will Scarlet, and I'm done. <laughs> I'll be on the lookout. All right, let's get this. Let's get this show on the road here. Get done with uh, no listener feedback and questions this time around. Uh, grab bag Star Wars Clone Wars stories of light and dark. Uh, 
again, I'm not through the Clone Wars yet. I think I'm uh, halfway through season six. What's the 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 last season is seven, right? The one yeah. that just came out with. Okay, so I'm halfway through season six. Um, six is really disjointed because it was canceled in mid production. Yeah, they didn't I, finish what they had started. <laughs> so exactly. it's like nothing makes any sense in season six. It's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we've talked about this before, but this is uh, different short stories. It's uh, eleven authors. Uh, blah blah, yeah, 11 stories by 11 different authors. A lot of them, if you're a Star Wars fan, you've heard before. Some of them are new. Um, very interesting. Also, doing an audiobook of this. Um, uh, and uh, oh, wait, what does this say? Blah blah blah, including 10 retellings of memorable episodes and arcs from one from one original Night Sisters based story. Oh, interesting. Uh, so yeah, if you're a Clone Wars fan, I think that's a must for you. And then I couldn't just leave it at one Star Wars because this had to be included too. This is, oh, and I'm not sharing my screen, which will help. Uh, this is about the cutest thing I've ever seen in my goddamn life. This is the Echo Dot third generation child uh, child stand for your Echo Dot. So oh. I think that thing looks amazing for somebody, you know, for your kid's room or something like that. Now, granted, you can get a dot for like 20 to 30 bucks, and this stand alone is $25. Um, but yeah, that's super cute. Officially licensed. There you can see all the different holes it needs and that kind of shit. And the one thing that I, we're a Google house. We only have a couple of Alexas just because that's what we started off with because they're super cheap, but we've gone Google. But I do love that this uh, third generation, is it, uh, can come with a clock on it because i don't know if you guys have these we have these in almost every single room and fucking i most rooms i can't tell what the fuck time it is unless i look at my fucking uh phone because we don't have alarm clocks anymore we don't have clocks anymore you know so but isn't that just, you could just say hey hey wiretap what time is it you can, <laughs> you can, but the problem is, is if somebody's sleeping in the room and, and especially when, uh, everybody in my family gets grumpy when you wake us up, you don't want to wake anybody up in my family, including my eight year old daughter. Hey, so. Snowden, what time is it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mr. Putin, can you, can you please? <laughs> And that's that's what I love because let them have and and I know this is the the privacy advocate's worst nightmare is all we ever fucking ask is hey why is your poop green you know <laughs> like <laughs> I mean we just ask ridiculous shit like that I remember Which once is, <laughs> I got a funny story if you if you'll indulge me. <laughs> please. I remember once I was I think I don't know if I was talking to my mom or I was talking to somebody about it. And I don't like those. I personally I don't really care. I don't do anything, you know, I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I don't do anything that I would worry about being listened to during. But it was right after Super Seven announced that uh He Man with the Santa hat and people mm -hmm. flipped the fuck out because they had they were guessing all sorts of different things that required new molds. And when they announced it was just a regular He-Man with a Santa hat, everyone had a meltdown. And I spent like three hours reading 38 pages of negative comments on He-Man.org. Wow. I read every, cause I just thought it was hilarious. Cause I, yeah. I thought it was, I was like, cool. He's got a Santa hat. That's a nice little bonus. One and that a I candy did. cane sword. Yeah. And he's got the wrapping paper. Yeah. And like I was like, and then I was I was talking about Alexa. I'm like, for instance, all I did last night was read 38 pages of negative comments about a He-Man toy. I hope <laughs> the government's tapping my shit because they would have to they would have to read everything I just did. Like, 
<laughs> but yeah, I, I'm not. I'm just. It's always listening. It just kind of creeps me out. I don't do anything that I think is going to be like I'm going to get in trouble for. But it just, I don't like it. That's all. Yeah, and I, and I don't know. I don't know. I think just the ease, you know, like I'm willing to give up my privacy for the ease of shit, you know, and that's, and that's awful. And I think if we, I think if we ever got into a police state or something like that, then yeah, I'd fucking turn them off or something, you know, cause you can turn them all off and then turn them on when you need them. So, but yeah. they tell you that. <laughs> yeah, the, it it looks like the, it's off. <laughs> so Just because Alexa it doesn't where... make any lights doesn't mean it's not. Off. <laughs> so Alexa knows where all the cash is hidden in my house right now. <laughs> she hears me talk about it. <laughs> the PayPal account, free money in the PayPal account, <laughs> my safe in the arcade, and everything else. <laughs> Oh. Uh, um, Transformers, we get a uh, welcome mats, which just looks like a really poor quality. That, but it looks like uh, so. Mrs. McFavor bought me some Yankee floor mats for my truck one year for Christmas, and and God love her, uh, I appreciate it. They were just the worst floor mats you could ever buy. They just fell apart like that. And that's what this kind of looks like, especially for uh, twenty seven dollars. Um, how big is this sucker? Ah, it's not even that big. 18, 17 inches by thirty inches. So um, they're also making a Joe one of these. Any interest in these guys? Oh, there's a. That's all, folks. I don't no. think I'd be allowed to have that. <laughs> really? Is your wife that way? Like you're not allowed to have? I mean, not outside the stuff. front door. No, I mean, it'd be cool to put in my room. You know? <laughs> yeah, wipe your feet before you come into my collection yeah. room. I like this one. I've always liked that. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. That's a good one. Yeah, that's cool. No, I, I went uh, through a little phase of putting, um, like really nerdy light switch plates on all my light switches because <laughs> uh -huh. they're so cheap right? yeah. yeah and i just thought it would be funny if there was like you know a, a, a legend of zelda light switch thing in the kitchen i just thought that was funny <laughs> I, i've kind of stopped that you can't really find them like you used to be able to but yeah look at, uh, tell me if you could see mine is the see uh, transformers yeah oh it's like, like uh, the uh, autobots good. yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, those yeah they always I have like. them at the they always have them at the Comic Cons, like somebody who 3D prints them. And they're no. only like five dollars or something like that. They're really reasonable. You were saying, Cliff, you can't find them that much though anymore. Yeah, like you used to be able to like go into a Target or a Walmart and they'd have like all these novel like you know, like Superman, Batman. Um mm -hmm. yeah, then you know, just eventually you started getting there. Now it's all kind of like just it's not. It doesn't seem like they have the same licensing. I'm sure Funko Pop uh, took all the licenses. Really? Away go, go on Etsy. You'll find a hundred of them. Well, see, that's oh, the thing. It's like it was just an impulse buy for like two forty nine when I was at Target. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this would be <laughs> hilarious if I have a Batman light switch plate in the bathroom, like, or an Aquaman because it's water, like. <laughs> But but not were, twenty dollars plus shipping. Yeah, from... not boutique <laughs> Etsy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Um, all right, uh, Stealth Hammer. We've already talked about it, but everybody still does have twenty one hours to go. So if you're listening to the podcast, you're probably not gonna have not gonna make it in time. But almost ten thousand dollars. This is our good friend Ryan Dross from Star Joe's. It, is it Drost or Drost? I think Have it's Drost. Heard, right? Drost. Um, so all ages comic of Jamie Taylor, a teenage college student who finds herself part of a grand legacy of protectors in a world of high-tech gadgetry and supernatural mythology. So uh, a guy that loves everything we love, you know. Um, so I, I don't think you can go wrong with this. 
Um, I forget. Am I not logged in? Is that why it's not showing me what I pledged? I think I did this $30 one. Do, do, do. But more importantly, uh, if you get this book, you can see Rock the Farting Dad. Yeah, I was going to say RHB that. Bus. Now I'm so. I, now I'm really excited about it now that I know that you're in it. So, um, but uh, the great thing about this is five bucks for a digital print of it. Like, come on, go go support somebody that is a true member of our community, loves it, has been giving back to it for Jesus Christ. They've been around for at least eight years now. Um, you know, and just kept with it even after his partner in crime kind of fell off. So it's actually they just celebrated their 10 year anniversary oh, a few yeah. months ago. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It's been that long. Yeah. Crazy. So and and the big thing I'm kind of lucky about is I like the artwork there. There's lots of comic book artwork I don't like out there nowadays uh some stuff too hyper real some stuff too old and uh this kind of fits right right in that sweet spot for me so definitely go support it if you're listening to the show live or if you're watching it within the next 21 hours and i'm glad i'm a supporter of it um and then lastly uh we get gi joe operation blackout so this has been up here for a while now what i find really interesting about this and and everybody sh could should kind of take heed of this i'm not going to pay the trailer because we got a fucking copyright strike the last time <laughs> or not a strike but uh we got a copyright claim the last time we did it is these are the designs of the classified figures so this is what the classified storm tr shadow is going to look like, um, especially in the trailer. You see that Cobra Commander? That looks exactly like the Cobra Commander. Now here's the Storm Shadow, so that's probably more what he'll look like. Um, but um, these are the bats, which I'm really, really fucking concerned about if that's what they're gonna look like. Um, but it looks like Roadblock. Is that is really sci-fi? Like it looks like he's yeah. zapping a ghost. You know what I mean? Look at him. <laughs> yeah. It looks like well, he's taking down that, Slimer. Yeah, that's that fucking weird ass rail gun, you that's know. Um, but yes, that does look very much like sci fi, and I would love an Arctic sci fi like that. Um, now, uh, again, I'm not going to play the trailer, but go to the show notes and look at the trailer because you're seeing Zartan in the trailer. So you're most likely seeing what a classified Zartan is going to look like and a few other uh, figures as well. Because the ones we have seen, the Scarlet Duke, Roadblock, Cobra Commander, and Snake Eyes are all exactly like their figures. Um, I dig it that it's a uh, cell shaded. So it's kind of that like newish style cell shaded where they're like 3D animated, but yet they're still cell shaded. So it's not completely that. Um, I'm like, I wonder if I could play it without the sound. Should we take a, should we take, take a, it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I wouldn't take the chance. <laughs> I think I'd have to. Oh, I could probably mute it down here. But anyway, now keep in mind, we you got a copyright claim. We couldn't hear it. So me and Lotus narrated it. Like, Oh, that's right. But I think, oh, yeah, you're right. So it was just a visual thing that they dinged me on. But and uh, and Brian Brink said that he's like. Dude, yeah, if you play anything off of YouTube, YouTube knows, and they'll ding you immediately. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I, go take a look at the show notes, openyourtoys.com, top of the page, and you'll get to see a trailer for the, oh, and I didn't even fucking say what this is. This is the first G.I. Joe console game since, I think they did a game for Rise of Cobra, 
Oh, you know, it's horrible. So, yeah. <laughs> um, and it's it's not a triple A game, so I think like the price point on it's like forty bucks or something. Oh, here's a pre order. Let's see what they're charging for the pre order. Pre order now. PlayStation Four, GameStop. Hi. Uh oh, look at this woman. Oh God. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, so uh, 40 bucks on this guy. So not even a, a full AAA title. Oh, my God. Well, all right, I better get out of here. here. All right. Um, all right, you guys yeah, got so anything else? Okay. Nope. No. All right. Well, I guess we'll see you fuckers sooner rather than later. And, later and thank you. <laughs> Peace. She knows what to do. We still have three <laughs> hardcores hanging in there. Went from seven to three. Good looking out. You well, God bless three. their hearts. <laughs> they stayed on the whole time. <laughs> All right, Bob. Let's we'll see you for 203. Peace. Later. All right. Take care, guys. Good night. <laughs>